Good morning, boys and girls. It is 4.17 in the a.m. And today, I'm going to Angkor Wat. So Angkor Wat is the largest temple structure still in Cambodia. And it's one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It's pretty iconic, to be honest. I think everyone's seen photos of it. We're going as early as we can in the morning to try and beat the crowds. Also, there's a good chance we can see a sunlight. I don't know what the weather's doing today, but it's certainly not raining, which is good. Uh, yeah, let's go have a look. So when you arrive, that's what you're greeted with. It's like an airport, absolutely jam-packed full of people. Worth getting it as early as possible, I think. We're going to go have a look around now, though, so hopefully we'll get some good shots. Be under no illusions, this place is Disneyland. I've never been anywhere quite as busy as this. <coughs> Still pretty beautiful. Charlie and I have now left the main complex of Angkor Wat. She's there. How are you doing? Good. I think she's a bit bored. We've left the main complex of Angkor Wat and we're now heading down. I've seen some steps at the bottom of this path down here. So there's Angkor Wat behind me up there. But it has to be said, nobody there right now. So I think there's like a little pavilion or something just down here. I said it was a circus. Inside at this time of the morning, it's currently 7.07, .07. it was relatively peaceful. It wasn't too busy, it wasn't too hectic. It was manageable. Um, there was one exceptionally busy bit, which is where everyone was queuing to get on top. We did not go on top. That is a, a waste of time, if you ask me. There's other quieter places to get on the top of these temples and see the view. My uh, luck with these UNESCO World Heritage Sites is not great, is it? Every time I come to one, it's either grey or rainy. The GAN was not a UNESCO site, I don't think, so yeah. Pretty much, I'm the unluckiest visitor to these places in the world. It's not that bad. I'll survive. Okay. So, that is the first biggest section of Angkor Wat done, I think. We're now heading back to the tuk-tuk to get taken somewhere else. Uh, these tuk-tuks were $15 a day, four of us are sharing, it's a pretty good price. Okay, a couple more of the uh, kind of touristy temples. This is the Bayon Temple, I think, and back over there there's the Bapur Temple. I think that's how you say it, I'm not 100% sure. The tuk-tuk driver tried to explain to me how to say it, and to be honest, I didn't get it. Fewer people here though, but there is a road going right the way through. I think people sort of like stop and then move on. Hopefully over the next couple of days, I'm gonna rent a motorbike and go explore some of the temples further out and we'll see what's going on. Oh, this is cool though. Let's explore. Let's be adventurers. We're, um, we're exploring this place at the moment and it's pretty much only us in here. So cool, you're going down all the little alleyways and all the little... Look at this. It's like a proper, proper exploration. Wow. This is much better than I got one. Okay then guys, we need to discuss this place. It's remarkable. It's absolutely beautiful. The structures, 
I, do, I always love things like this. I love the intricacy, I love the grandeur, I love every aspect of it. It's not peaceful. Don't come here if you're looking for peace and quiet. That's, that's my initial assessment. It might change through the day. It might change, but as things stand, it's not the best temple I've ever seen by a long stretch. Okay, so it might be, you know, the main strip, it might be the most touristy place you've ever seen. New glasses, by the way. It might be the most touristy place you've ever seen, but um, when you come out into these, like, gardens, I guess they're grounds or the jungle. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is so, so nice. Just a little breeze rustling through. It's quiet, you can hear the birds and the monkeys, and there are no people. And there are still temples behind me, just there. See that? That's a huge temple. Can you see it? Just there. You can escape the madness. Let's go under this wall. <sighs> okay, I take it back. This place is nice. There was always going to be a lot of people here, wasn't there? James, what are you talking about? I disregard everything I've said. I'm clearly just tired. Wow. Okay, we have made it. We are on our way to the Tomb Raider Temple. This is the one that everyone goes on about loving. They say it's so much cooler than all the rest, so we're about to find out. Are you excited for the Tomb Raider Temple? It's pretty excited. Like, <laughs> as far as my experience of excitement, that was that was high up on the spectrum. <laughs> we love that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Acquired a passenger. Can you see this little guy? <laughs> Look at that. He's been uh, riding shotgun now for like an hour. Not an hour, like five minutes. Okay, first place I've been impressed by. Really is. I mean, you probably hear this all the time of all of the uh, all of the different vlogs you watch about coming to Cambodia, but Angkor Wat is just so busy. And this place, now that we've got away from the sort of initial entrance, I mean, look at it. There's nobody in this whole courtyard but me. And look at how damn cool this courtyard is. There's sections of it which still haven't been dug up properly. Sections which haven't been renovated, and it just. It feels so authentic, it's amazing. You really can get lost exploring in here. Wow. This is cool. Okay, so that was, I believe it's pronounced Taprom, uh, the Tomb Raider Temple, everyone knows it by the Tomb Raider Temple. Highlight so far, by far, by a long way. That place was so cool. So on your tuk-tuk thing, if you uh, just book the short circuit, the small circuit, that will get you over here and that's about all you need to do. Definite recommendation. I think that's just about day one in CM Reap over, guys. Thanks for joining me. Please remember to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you for tomorrow when I'm going off the beaten track a little bit.